us out. You can now stay in the Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's a replica. It's in Portland, Oregon. It includes all the essentials like the Ghostbusters Emergency Vehicle Ecto-1, ghost traps, proton packs. You can even try on the famous Ghostbusters fight suits. Mm. The rate is just $19.84, which is in honor of the year the movie debuted. You can reserve your stay on the vacation rental company Vacasa website starting October 21st. Of course, first come, first serve. It's like yeah. you and five of your friends. It has so many of the props in there. I'm confused. I went online to see how you do this, <laughs> and it's like a giveaway, but for three nights only for up to five guests for that low price, like, are they actually booking it or is it a giveaway for just, just one weekend? Just that one weekend. It seems a lot it of was work hard to get for answers. one weekend. Exactly. Yeah. I would think they would keep going with it, but it sounded like three nights only, so. Well, it could be fun because that firehouse that it's in, it was built in like 1900. Mm. So maybe there are some ghosts that they can go bust <laughs> while they're there. Real ghost. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell joined together for a new spin on a holiday classic. Apple TV Plus released the first trailer for Spirited, a musical comedy which is a modern day retelling of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. The movie centers around uh, Clint Briggs convincing the ghost of Christmas present to take a look at his past, present, and future. Spirited hits theaters November 11th before streaming on Apple TV Plus November 18th, which I like. I like it comes in theaters and a week later, yes. for those of us who don't want to go out to theaters, we get to watch it at home. You get the option to yeah. have that. And it also has Octavia Spencer yes. in it. And I'd heard an interview with Ryan Reynolds and Octavia Spencer. It was months ago and they were mm. talking about it coming and it was Will Ferrell, not surprised that he's out there. I never expected Ryan Reynolds in a musical. It's but it's, it just looks so good. It looks hilarious. Yeah. I approve. I, I feel like with the two of them water. and the amazing town of Octavia Spencer, like yeah. you just can't go wrong. Yeah, it looks good. All right, Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't ready to swap the title for of mm -hmm. Daddy for Commander in Chief. There's been much talk and support for the actor to run for president, but he says now is not the right time. This idea and the question continues to pop up on whether or not I would run for president, would I seriously consider it? And I have seriously considered it. You have to. When you start looking at some of these polls and these numbers creep up into the 46%, 50% of the country would vote for me should I run. And I have been, I've been really moved by that. I mean, truly, it sat me down. I'm um, just really grounded and humbled by the interest on both sides. But the number one job and my number one title that I love right now is is daddy. Well, Johnson, who has described himself as a political mm -hmm. independent and centrist, he has three children. Right. Uh, a 2021 poll found that 58 percent of Americans would like to see him as the next president of the United States. In that same poll, 58% of Americans also said they would support actor Matthew McConaughey as commander in chief. Yeah. Take it for what you will, but there has been a lot of talk about The Rock because he has been open about it. And I mean, think about him, he'd be such like a, yes. like a force, an intimidating force to look at. I would be curious for him and Matthew McConaughey as they went through the election process, right? And campaigning, how that approval rating might change, right? right? We all love them from the movies and we know them as Hollywood stars. I wonder what that would, how that would be different, but I understand him saying, I'm a dad, you know, yes. it, it, it may be down the road, right? He didn't write it off, but now's not the time. His, his girls are young, they're yeah. very young. Enjoy being a daddy. Yeah.